That boy was like, BIP! If he wouldn't have told him that, Lois would have died. Do you hear me? If he would have never told him that, Lois would have died. What is going on, guys? So we are tuned in to episode 7. This is the Superman 1940s, uh, 40s edition, 1942. And this episode is Electric Earthquake. Judging from that title, we are in for a terrible time. Let's get into it. All right, painting the scenery. The hell is that? Okay, so who went underwater and hooked these up? How does how does this work? Any life form that is underwater and this much electricity is being pumped underneath the water and just exposed this way, you're dead. And there's a few of them. Bro, what? What is this? Listen, the mice stand far away from the water because they... What did I just see? Why? Why was he down there? Did he have an office or something inside of that, that underground or underwater thing? What was the purpose? And then it, it floated him up to this raggedy warehouse. He gets into a boat and leaves. All right, we're here at the Daily Planet. And I still say Manhattan rightfully belongs to my people. Possibly, but just what do you expect us to do about it? You have a newspaper? Publish the truth. Have the island vacated immediately. It's fantastic. Why, that's ridiculous. So this dude shows up and says, Manhattan belongs to my people. I'm going to horribly assume that he's supposed to be Native American. And he wants everybody to just like abandon their homes, lives and jobs because of why? Ridiculous. Maybe modern science will make you think differently. Now. <laughs> Lois is always finessing Clark. Always finessing this boy. How about you use your professional finessing skills and get bro? Like, and it looked like that's what she's thinking. She's like, oh, I'm going to get you right after I kiss Superman. I've never heard anything so absurd. You know, from the look in his eyes, I'd almost believe he was in earnest. She's gone already. They didn't even notice. No. He's just a harmless crank. At least she on buddy line, at least. Wait. But the Daily Planet is in the middle of the city. It's not off of Marina or a dock. So he left her office and walked here? And she followed him the whole way here? Oh, no. She fit to hop in the boat. I didn't even realize it. God, I appreciate her enthusiasm, but at least put Clark Kent in on the, the gag. Look at how goofy she looks right now. She already realizes this plan is terrible. I don't understand this setup. And he see her in the reflection of the elevator. Golly. Look at how stupid she always looked with the same outfit on. Come on. Then she gonna duck down like ain't nobody saw her. Can't completely see you right now, madam. Ahead, Miss Lane. You wouldn't want to miss this story, I'm sure. 
And he like, come on out of there. Come see this story. Get inside this underwater elevator. He didn't take his hat off, like. I don't understand this. She for to put her arms on this thing and it's for to strap her in. What is, what, what? How did you even know that she would come here? How do you have a chair that's conveniently set up for this? Strap. How did you even know? The It's just like, oh, I got a chair that's specifically set up for guests when they come to this underwater mansion of mine. Just a precautionary measure. I mean, you got on this salmon colored suit, so he figured that you were fish, and he just figured he'd just trap you. Every single villain wears the exact same suit. Now, they changed it up on this one. I think they heard my complaints from the 1940s and was just like let's change this up just for mike and they gave him a underwater mansion instead of one that's up in the mountains i'm glad about that that is the same outfit though the exact same Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what's the thought process of me operating this much electricity underwater. I mean, just the slightest hiccup could be disastrous. So now he's able to see above water. Okay. Now, Miss Lane, get ready for the greatest story of your career. Dang. But... I truly feel like there is a much easier way to blow up structures in the city. I honestly feel like there's a much easier way to do what he just did. It would have cost millions to build a underground layer or underwater layer, a underwater elevator that's operable connect all these wires to these different points and foundation points within the city when you could do all this above ground and you don't have to worry about the elevator the layer none of that whoever they are they are instantly dead the daily planet is destroyed he attacked the daily planet directly how is she supposed to report this story Let's get out of here. Wow. Golly, just mayhem. This looks like a job for Superman. Why did he sound like George Clooney? He sounded so cool for that one. All this mayhem he's he that boy said. Oh, he sounds like a job for Superman. Oh. Oh, oh, oh after my nap like what <laughs> wow 
This villain ain't playing with none of y'all. He attacked the Daily Planet dang near first. Superman comes outside. Oh, this is like a job for Superman. Trying to be all cool and casual about it. Took his little shirt off in public. Didn't even try to hide. Tried to be sexy and change in the corner and instantly the buildings collapsed right on top of him. Wow. Wow, look at all this mayhem and destruction. He not playing with y'all, bro. He trying to chase the electric current underwater. How's about go to the source and beat that guy up? It's electricity underwater, and I get it that he may not be phased by it, but at least show it like uh, showing some kind of effect on him. That's not how electricity underwater works, and it just it makes an explosion. You're underwater, sir. Why? Why? Why is this electric wire, like, focused on Superman so badly? Look at how distraught Superman looks, instantly realizes, I am out of my league. Drags him back down. It's a wire. Why is it, like, personally attacking you? You had no success with this so far. Why do you keep chasing these electrical currents? it's just it's it's so many things wrong with this it's so many things wrong so many electrical components and things being tr traced and wired and he pulls one wire and it was that easy for one of the walls inside of this place to break I'm just not understanding. Look at all this electric stuff in here. And he's getting splashed and it's still it's still stuff going. How are you not dead? And he catches the elevator. How's the elevator still working if he's destroying the electrical components? Oh my god, he now he's trying to. I forgot about Lo. I didn't even realize Lois was still here. How are you not dead yet? <laughs> Look at how Superman grabbed that boy's shoulder. That boy was like, "Bip." Uh, uh, a girl is still down there. If he wouldn't have told him that, Lois would have died. Do you hear me? If he would have never told him that, Lois would have died. Superman would have not known. And she would have died. Why was that even his confession? It's like you already caught. You didn't already killed like hundreds of people with these explosions. That boy called, he was just like, oh man, it's a girl down there. That was your first thought process? If he hadn't told Superman that, Superman, Lois would have died. Left him alone to get away. He turns on, what is that? Dynamite. On a timer. Closes the elevator and sends the elevator back down. Leaves on a boat. Superman grabs Lois. 
complete and utter destruction. And then he's dying. Buddy got weak. <laughs> Buddy was like, ha, 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 ha. Wow! And Superman caught him by the bottom of the boat. Oh my gosh. With Lois Lane in his hands. <laughs> caught him by the bottom of the boat. Superman saves Manhattan Island. Story by Lois Lane. I don't... I don't know why... She gets every story. Now y'all y'all can't let Clint get at least one of them joints. Superman disappears again. You know, Lois, the old island looks just as good as ever. That's right, Clark. Thanks to Superman. She doing right, thanks to Superman. Because let's be honest, she did zero. She did zero this entire episode. I'm kind of glad he had her strapped down to the chair. She would have just made matters worse. That girl left the office, walked downstairs to the docks, what it looks like, because he arrived by boat. I'm assuming that he caught a taxi or something, but some kind of way he left the Daily Planet and she followed this boy all the way back to the docks to his boat. He drove the boat to his, you know, location where the, the lair was located. She gets out. He sees her and tells her, come inside. Gets downstairs into the lair, puts her in a chair, straps her in, and she's there for the remainder of the episode. And I, I was kind of glad that she was there. I ain't gonna hold you. This episode was confusing. It's called Electric Earthquake. He was setting off earthquakes within the city by using electric currents that will call that will cause an explosion on certain foundations within the city but it just seemed like it was such a that's so much work in order to cause destruction that way when you could cause that same type of destruction with way less money and stay above ground he's operating this this underwater layer and there's no electrical issues or hiccups or or anything and i just thought i just thought it was really confusing and i thought this part was confusing too uh also this looks kind of petty pause but this is the elevator leaving out of the establishment here and for some odd reason this right here opens up this elevator comes out and then it's surrounded by water so i would assume water would possibly get back in here you know and it just, it just seemed like it was confusing how it's not water is not getting inside of this facility and causing issues or at the very least some molding issues this episode was it was pretty stupid logistically it wasn't too bad it wasn't a whole lot going on that i was just like what but this was a pretty uh pretty stupid episode as always listen that is it for this episode you guys like comment share subscribe and i will catch you guys soon peace